Well, hi there. Welcome back. Dan again from Clean Guru. I was going to title this video, uh, Prices Per Square Foot Gone Wild. Why is that? Well, because I see for cleaning so many prices per square foot thrown around that it's hard sometimes to make sure we understand what we're referring to. And I worry that sometimes cleaning business owners that are saying these prices per square foot, do they really know what they're referring to? I saw it on a group post the other day on a Facebook group. Someone was saying, do you think five cents is a good square foot price for me? Someone else said, well, I think maybe 25 cents a square foot. Someone else said, oh, yeah, I really think you're looking more at like 65 or 68 cents a square foot. And of course, then it begs the question, are we talking about five cents times the square footage for one visit? Or are we talking about for weekly cleaning? Are we trying to determine the price per square foot for the month? You know, years ago, I mentioned that it might have been commonplace for large companies that bid on large cleaning projects to bid from six cents a square foot to 12 cents a square foot, let's call it eight or 10 cents a square foot uh, for a certain big project. And when they did that and they multiplied it times the square feet, that was giving them a price estimate for five days a week cleaning. Uh, that's kind of an important question. You know, what's the frequency? Makes a world of difference, right? It's not two days, it's five days. Then of course, if you multiply times 12, that would be not 10 cents, that would be $1.20. That was helping you get a annual price estimate. Now, of course, you have to be careful because a person might be for a tile maintenance job, scrubbing or refinishing or stripping and refinishing. Uh, they may be talking about price per square foot for that job. Uh, same thing with construction cleaning, you know, 48 cents for this construction cleaning project, for that, you know, for that project. Someone else is saying, I charge this much per visit. At the end of the day, I would just caution all of us to be very careful that we know what we're talking about and not to be embarrassed to ask, you know, what, what are we saying here? And I'm looking at three days a week or I'm looking at five nights a week. Uh, we're talking about office cleaning here or, you know, make sure that you know. My boss used to tell me years ago, the numbers have got to mean something to you. Boy, was that a good piece of advice. And I, I guess I would just pass that along to you too. The numbers have got to mean something to you. And if they don't, then ask some questions until they do. And for most janitorial office cleaning projects, you know, determining hours, you know, we talk about this all the time, is really a good suggestion. Uh, price per square foot can leave you pretty vulnerable if your operation of how you handle cleaning isn't matched to be profitable based on that. But if you, you get a good estimate or calculation of time, and then wages, payroll taxes, overhead profit, and you build your price, our feeling is you're in a much better position to understand what, you, what, you, what's, what you're going to do going into the job. But just be careful with these prices per square foot so you don't go crazy with it. Till next time, remember, you can do this. You really can do this.